Puno's first-year co-offensive coordinator Robbie Toma entered the season preaching getting the ball into the hands of his playmakers. That's been largely successful so far. Puno's offense has not scored fewer than 28 points. And the playmaker who's touched the ball the most, Vincent Terrell, a junior running back who has a special bond with his father. <laughs> It was different not having my dad there. It was a little weird not having him see my first high school touchdown. Who know running back Vince Terrell isn't the biggest guy on the field. In fact, at 5'7", 160, he's often the smallest player between the lines on a fall Friday night in Honolulu. But he can run. I wish he was taller and bigger, but he makes up for that with his knowledge of the game and his toughness and his speed. He stayed in bounds. Look at that footwork. The Darren Sproles of Hawaii football had his dad as his first ever coach. He was always the toughest on me, no matter what. And I don't know, that kind of helped me. He was like, he taught me that no coach is going to ever be easy on you. If he's a good coach, he won't be easy on you because he always wants to see you be great. And, you know, some kids, you know, get thrown off by yelling, but I don't know, sometimes it actually helped me. It reminds me that, hey, get it together. Lieutenant Colonel Vincent Terrell Sr. was deployed to Alaska the summer before Vince Jr.'s freshman year. Dad has only been in the bleachers for three of his son's high school football games. I'm trying to make sure I make him proud while he's making sacrifices being up there. Because he didn't, he didn't have to go there, but for us, for me to stay at this school, he would have had to. That summer, from 8th to 9th grade, was tough for Vince. He lost his cousin in an accident, but football was still there. My coach, he, he really helped me through it, because practice is I would be out of it, but it always be like, get set that aside for right now. Do what you enjoy, and I really love the game. It gives me hope and happiness. Terrell has been the man of the house for a couple years now. It was kind of like a shock, like, I realized that I had to kind of take over and I had to, you know, do things he had to do. And it kind of gave me a better perspective of what I put my dad through. <laughs> Father and son still find time for each other. They call and text, and the family reunites in Anchorage in the summers, where Vince does two-a-days to keep improving his football shape. The game is often the topic of conversation. I don't know, football's like a mainstream because, you know, I don't like to... I'm not a very, like, serious person. I like to have fun, you know, like to goof around. But it's, it kind of gives us a meeting point where we can be serious, but we can also be fun, you know, joke around. A profound example of sports bringing a family closer together. For Cover 2, I'm Ren Clayton.